July 15th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 from the New Testament. Now I, Paul, appeal to you personally by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, I who am meek when present among you, but am full of courage toward you when away. Now I ask that when I am present I may not have to be bold with the confidence that I expect I will dare to use against some who consider us to be behaving according to human standards. For though we live as human beings, we do not wage war according to human standards. For the weapons of our warfare are not human weapons, but are made powerful by God for tearing down strongholds. We tear down arguments and every arrogant obstacle that is raised up against the knowledge of God, and we take every thought captive to make it obey Christ. We are also ready to punish every act of disobedience, whenever your obedience is complete. You are looking at outward appearances. If anyone is confident that he belongs to Christ, he should reflect on this again. Just as he himself belongs to Christ, so too do we. For if I boast somewhat more about our authority than the Lord gave us for building you up and not for tearing you down, I will not be ashamed of doing so. I do not want to seem as though I am trying to terrify you with my letters, because some say his letters are weighty and forceful, but his physical presence is weak and his speech is of no account. Let each person consider this. What we say by letters when we are absent, we also are in actions when we are present. For we would not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who recommend themselves. But when they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are without understanding. But we will not boast beyond certain limits, but will confine our boasting according to the limits of the work to which God has appointed us, that reaches even as far as you. For we are not overextending ourselves as though we did not reach as far as you, because we were the first to reach as far as you with the gospel about Christ. Nor do we boast beyond certain limits in the work done by others, but we hope that as your faith continues to grow, our work may be greatly expanded among you according to our limits, so that we may preach the gospel in the regions that lie beyond you and not boast of work already done in another person's area. But the one who boasts must boast in the Lord, for it is not the person who commends himself who is approved, but the person the Lord commends. God, I wonder how much faith and trust and part of our relationship with you we actually put into the people we listen to here on earth. It's not that you don't send people into our lives to help teach us and guide us and, and share with us your word. I totally believe that there's people like that. I very much believe that there's people like that. But I think sometimes we give them as people too much weight. We am, we provide power to them. I see this happen all the time with preachers or Christian singers, um, people who've written Christian books, that instead of truly listening to the words and discerning to make sure that the words are what you would say, God, based upon your consistency in the Bible of your true nature, and understanding that the words that they're saying that mean something to our heart really have nothing to do with the person saying them, that they are truly all of you, God. Then why do we give so much attention, so much focus, so much adulation to the people saying them? That's always baffled me. I know a, a Christian rap singer who the other day wrote on Facebook. Um, Sorry, I didn't have time for autographs. Um, was really tired or something like that. And it wasn't the really tired part that bothered me. It was the fact that the whole signing autographs, his gift came from you. His being on the stage and that presence in front of all those people came from you. Um, I don't know. I, we live in such an odd world where somebody's signature, somebody's name and pen means something, gives some sort of value. And to me, that's that's really confusing. And I wonder if Paul was here on earth, if we would do the same thing to him. We would line up around the bookstore <laughs> to get his name signed in, in our Bible. I don't know. I just, when, when I read this, I very much 
understand the humbleness that Paul teaches because he was one of the most humble servants that you had, if not the most humble servant you have. But I wonder how much we give power and authority to people here on earth when it is truly you that we should bypass them and give you that that praise and honor and glory. God, just allow us the next time we go, oh yeah, that was a really good sermon or gosh, I really love this book by so-and-so or this was a really good Bible study or that's a really good song that we also stop in that same breath and say, thanks be to God who allowed those words to be said, allowed those words to be sang, allowed those words to be put into a book. We need to start giving you praise and honor in all things that you do. None of this we could do by ourselves, God. I don't know when we're going to start to understand that. None of this, nothing, none of this could we do by ourselves. It is only by your will, your grace, your mercy, your sovereignty that we have these gifts and these abilities. God, help us keep those in check when we talk about others who are in the kingdom of God or who are sharing about uh, your word to others to keep in check that it is only you who can allow those amazing uh, gifts to shine through and touch other people's lives. In your son's name I pray. Amen.